Hi, my friends. Welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. I'm Corey, and here's Gunther. He's going to join us today. And today we're going to do a stitch with me. The stitch with me is May Blues in support of Stitching in the Interlakes Ava. She's doing blooms for the month of May on Wednesdays, and this is my bloom that I'm working on for the month of May. And on Wednesdays and whenever I decide to pull it out. I have done, made a little bit of progress on it since last we met. Um, I, I wanted to see how this one, how the blooms were going to look. And so I, I finished this, I went ahead and finished this flower. And whatever leftover stitches came over here to this flower. But this is where we're at. I've got some light colors over here too. I completely finished this color, whatever color that is. is. I completely finished it now. There are no more of that one in there. Um, and today we're going to work on this green symbol again, which is the 15th color in the chart, and it's color number 890. Um, <clears throat> I thought that would be a good place to start today. <clears throat> um, let's get my thread started, and... Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I'll go ahead and start down here and work, work my way up on that one. I'm going to loop my thread for a start today. I have started when I have, you know, because you can't, you have to move your threads around and you can't loop it every time. And so I have started doing the pin stitch again uh, for starting my threads that don't have a loop. And um, I hope, I'm hoping I'm doing it right, um, but I'm kind of doing a, a cheat step on it. And instead of doing the pin, you're supposed to do it side to side, the pin stitch you know, from you come up in the middle or go down in the middle, come up on the on one side and then you go down in the middle and then you come up on the other side and down in the middle. I've started doing it like a cross stitch. I'll come up in the middle, go down in the bottom left square, come back up in the middle and then go back down in the top right square and then when I come back, I just cross over that. It makes an X, but it covers up the hole in the middle with my second leg of the X. And I don't know why nobody, I haven't seen anybody do that. I don't know why they don't do it that way. I hope the stitch holds. I always tug my stitch before I go on to make sure it will hold. But I think it's working for me. It, it's looking better. It's the... It, I think it just lays nicer when I do it that way than doing the complete pin stitch behind the complete stitch. So, that's what I've been doing lately. I don't know why nobody does it that way. And I hope it's not because it's all going to make your whole stitch fall out. But, well, some of the things that have happened while you were away is <clears throat> I got uh, my Adorn It my Stitch of the Month I got my May Tailgate Party pattern and this is the May Tailgate Party it says flowers bloom because of the rain I thought that that's a cute little saying and I don't know I guess it's people I have no idea what what those creatures are 
uh, maybe there's some kids with umbrellas and some blooms, and they've got, of course, the tailgate, tailgate um, banner there. That this banner is, and I think it's been in every one of them so far for the month. And I am seriously thinking about when I do this to just make a quilt, make a quilt out of it. Maybe we can get busy on that and maybe I can get it ready for the auction in November it's not likely to happen but maybe we, I'll do something like I did last year where I, I did I got the squares ready and the Amish finished it off for the for the auction so uh, I did, I know I talked last week about how I, I, on Monday, I was worried because I had gotten the notification from 123 Stitch that my thread had shipped and my needles had shipped. Where, where, okay, you guys, here we are. I had gotten the notification that it had shipped, but I didn't receive it. And I think it was like um, over the weekend I got the notification and it had been a full week <clears throat> but it came like the next day so it may have even come the day that I did that uh, made my post on Monday but I since I'm buying the threads and pieces I made a vow that I was going to go ahead and Floss drop what I got because I learned that it's, it's a handful or a day full to, to do it all at once. I wasn't going to wait for them all to get here. And I am so tempted to go ahead and start it. I still haven't decided if I'm going to try to do that on a frame or do it in hand. I thought you kind of had to do that on a on a frame something like that that it wouldn't be workable but I have seen that there are some stitchers out there who do their full co full coverage cross stitch patterns in in hand so I am I think I might try that and I haven't decided if I'm gonna do a full stitch or tent stitch I I know I I'll do some samples of it of the stitching. I from what I've been watching from other people who are doing this that I have a 25 count Lugana and um that the best thing to do with that would be a 1 over 1 cr full cross. But I'm going to Teresa, I've been watching, is it Teresa Little Stitcher? And she has a tutorial on starting a full coverage. And her recommendation is not to do a tent stitch if it's your first one. My thinking is, if I really ever want to finish it, a tent stitch would be perfect. Because it would take... Theoretically, it would take half the time to complete it. And so that's where I am with that. I still haven't worked on my, I, I'm so close to finishing my uh, lavender, lavender fields diamond painting. Um, I, my back has, it's been gradually getting worse and it's finally just completely went out. Like, it's hard for me to walk or do anything. Every time I take a step, I get a shooting pain from the center, from the, the center of my back and it radiates out around my ribs. And... I was put, it was bothering me and I was just 
hoping it would go away, that I wouldn't need any intervention. And I can't see what's going on here. I think I may have, did I cross over too? No, I didn't. There we go, okay. Uh, and it finally got so bad, I went to the chiropractor on Monday. And it was better for about five minutes. But, I mean, I knew I, it, stuff like that didn't just go away. And so he wants to see me twice a week for a couple weeks. He's going to come up with a treatment plan for me. My insurance requires that. But he. He kind of fixed it. By the time, I mean, I could walk out to the car without any pain. But by the time I got to the grocery store and was walking around in the grocery store, I it was it was bad again. So I really haven't been doing very much, physically speaking. I were I've been working on uh, the European town. I worked quite a bit on it yesterday. And so I finished, I completed the color of thread that I had started. I completed that for that first house panel. And so that that's kind of exciting for me because that one, that color had a lot, I felt. I don't know if it was the most of the, is that the color with the most stitches of that panel? I don't know, but it was a lot. And um, I just picked a line that was between the two houses. And I said, okay, from this line to the left is what I'm going to work. and. After I finished it, I looked at it, and I think I could go over a couple more squares of, you know, like the how these squares. To get perfectly in the center of those two houses, I could go over two more squares. So maybe I'll, I'll work on that. Since I got that other goal completed, maybe I'll, I'll go over two more squares. And there's still quite a bit to do if I look at it that way, but... I will consider myself uh, have having achieved progress on that score. And part of me is thinking that might be a way for me to work the whole thing is, you know, when I pick a, a color to, to work up on Monday, and I'll just do that color all week. And and hopefully I can retire the color for that panel. Um, and then move on to another color. And that way we can see some progress. Now it might take eight weeks because of all... I can't remember. Well, I can't remember. I think that one had 60 colors in it. Somewhere around 60. So, I'm sure not all 60s are in every panel. Because <laughs> at that rate, it would take me 60 weeks to finish a panel. So, maybe that isn't such a great, great, noble idea. As I'm thinking aloud, rubbish. Thinking out loud, my rubbish. But, um, I've 
could do better on my ketogenic, low carb way of eating. I'm, I'm making progress. I my working my I'm working at just not counting any carbs. <clears throat> You know, not not trying to keep them under a certain number, I, but I am just like, if if, the, if I were counting my carbs, would I be able to eat this item? You know, like <clears throat> it would have to be under 20 carbs for me to eat it to begin with, and the lower the better. And probably the worst thing I've had are, is nuts. And nuts, nuts are are legal. You can have like a quarter of a cup for five carbs. But I, you know, I'm not counting how many I eat. I can't eat a lot anyway, but I'm sure I'm eating more than I should to keep the carb count down. And I am losing a little bit of weight. So, it's hard to set you because my bathroom scales are, you, you can, I can weigh it on it, get a weight, step off, step back on, and the weight's, oh, it's up to four pounds different sometimes. It all has to do with where you stand on it and... How steady you are, and anyway, so I may have rumbled on about that last time. I can't remember. I was telling somebody about that. I I have a pair of a balance beam scales set a pair, a set, I don't know what you call it, and uh, where you have to slide it across the top, I just don't want to pull that out because it takes up so much floor space. And for now, it's not really so much, I do need to lose the weight, but for now, the reason I'm doing it is for health. It's not necessarily because I want to lose weight. I'm doing it for health reasons. Carbo they are finding that carbohydrates are responsible for a lot of things that we really didn't think was affected just by sugar. And That's basically what a carbohydrate is, is a sugar. Concentrated on. Um, see what else I've worked on. I, I random, excuse me, I'm going to pause while I clear my throat. Hold on. Okay, I think I got it. A lot of the way I, I decide what I'm going to stitch on next is I just, um, it's what I'm in the mood for. And I'll look through all the ones I've started, all the ones I have to start, and I will choose. I'll just pick one and I'll either stitch on it for, you know, for days, or I'll stitch on it for an hour or a strand or two. And then I, I'll go do another one. 
So I've worked on several stitches, but nothing, nothing major, no major accomplishment on any one, one kit. I, I did work on, I wanted to finish that little, I don't know if y'all remember that little tiny kitty cat that I got from Hobby Lobby months back. And you know, it's just a little, I think the whole thing is about that big, you know, it's just not very big at all. And that has surprisingly taking, I'll pick it up every time I pick it up. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one today. And <laughs> there's a cat hair. And I get, I just get tired of it. Or I have to stop for some reason, you know. And I put it away again, and it, it, that one is not drawing me. It's if I, I'm going to finish that one just because I want to finish it. It's not, I'm not excited about it in any way. And so it gets put away again, and so I think you know it's really stupid to just not finish that. So I can say I've got a completion. And I've got it, I've got it up to, it has a little bow tie on his neck. And then he's got, then I just have his head. I have to do the head on the cat. And I uh, finish, I have put some stitches on the ladybug that's flying around behind him. Or beside him. So, you know, I think a couple more hours on that should finish that one up. If I don't have to pull more stitches out. <sighs> and I'm thinking if I can't do that one. All the trouble I've had with that one. I'm like why I do. I think I need to do a full coverage. Two foot wide one. But I want it. I still want to do it. The difference is, is I think I'll do the full coverage one. I'll definitely do that with a 10 by 10 grid at a time. Rather than try to finish a color up. Which will be hard for me to do. But I think that's where I make my mistakes is when I try to cross country. And Daniel updates. I really don't have any. Um, I assume L as well. He called me for a split second yesterday. And before we really got to talking, he got another call from, from work. And I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> so, Mama started worrying last night I guess it was the day before yesterday that I heard from him because I didn't hear from him yesterday and last night I started worrying him about him and by then it was too late I didn't want to interrupt him so he could uh, I don't like to call him because I don't know what his sleep schedule is he's got to sleep whenever he can so I'm going to put a little text out this morning and say, hey, you need to check in with Mama. Um, but uh, that's up on that front. We're having thunderstorms. We've already had quite a few. Poor, poor dogs. <laughs> it's hard for them to plan their potty potty breaks but um, I think the thunderstorms are going to be lighter today there's not as many you know widespread today and tomorrow and then they're going to come rolling in again with good force on Friday but um, 
My sister still wants to go pick strawberries, so that's in our plan today. And I want to thank you guys for joining me today for my May blooms and stitching it in the Inner Lakes uh, May endeavor. And so you guys go over and stitch some Mayflowers with her. And I want y'all to take care and I'll see you again in the next one.